Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I cover lifestyle, personal finance, and investment. Now I'll jump straight into the matter. You've clicked this video because you're concerned about your investments. Whether you're invested in the local market or the global market, whether you're invested in stocks or through a mutual fund or UITF, you're probably wondering, what the hell is going on with my investment? Especially with so much encouragement that came from myself and other YouTube channels with the launch of Gcash's G-Invest last year and with new apps such as GoTrade which allow us to get invested in foreign markets for as little as one dollar you've probably found yourself investing in the stock market saw some good gains last year and now it's all in the negative am I to blame? whoa 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 we all know that what I've encouraged is to be investing in these instruments for the long term if it's in the negative right now this is unfortunately part of what you signed up for. So if you're like me, you're probably down right now. For my Google stock, I'm down about 12%. And for my Gcash G-Invest, my lowest fund is actually down about 30% right now. As mentioned, there will be up days and down days. Or let me rephrase that, there could be years that you are up, but there are also years that you could be down. So what is in fact going on? There are so many reasons. There's war, there's inflation, but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly why it's down and when it will get better because I personally don't know myself. So this isn't going to be an explanation about what's going on. This video is actually about what you can do during these down times. So stop feeling discouraged, stop worrying. Here I'm sharing with you three things that you can do while the markets are down right now. To start off, this isn't the first time that I'm going through these downtrends. I've invested in the stock markets in the last 10 to 15 years. So I've lived through the subprime mortgage crisis in 2008. There have also been some periods of great rallies, of major upswings, and also major downswings in the local market. So this is me coming from a place of losing quite a bit in those times, but also winning during the better days. So what are these three things? Well, the first thing that you can do is probably the easiest, and this is doing nothing. Yes, you heard that right. During this period, instead of worrying and looking at your investments, looking at Gcash's G-Invest every day, what you can actually do is just stay away from all the news. You can't really do much about the money that you're already losing. So this is going to be a practice of patience, a practice of letting go. If you need to stay away from financial news, then do exactly that. That's actually what I've done, especially in my younger years. It's easy to get excited about the market when it's all rallies, but when we have these down days in the market, I completely understand if you're not excited by it. And if you want to disconnect, that's completely fine. Eventually, maybe months, hopefully not years from now, maybe your investment would have recovered and are already getting good gains. So let's move on to number two. Again, if you're new to the market, you were probably very excited. Maybe you put in a lot more money than you should have. Maybe that's what's keeping you up at night. But during this down period, this is a time for you to really reassess how much you should be putting in in the market. It's easy to keep investing and putting in more money when the markets are rallying. But when we're going through a period of such losses, this is when you can really see how much you can actually lose and thus you can come to a conclusion of how much you should actually put in. As for myself, I never really lose a lot of sleep about the losses that I get because I'm not invested that heavily. I believe in investing a little at a time. So when markets suddenly crash, I trust that it will eventually get better. So these times when the markets are down, this is when you can really re-strategize. Were you too aggressive before? Or maybe you should be putting in more money if you think that the losses are quite bearable. So for number two, this is a time to reassess and re-strategize how much you're actually investing. So let's move on to number three. You're not the type to do nothing and just stop worrying about your investments. You actually wanna be more aggressive, take on more risks. During these down days would actually be a great time for you to be investing more. If your mutual fund or stock is in the negative, it essentially means that what you have bought before is much cheaper now. And this is really a chance for you to cost average your buy-in price. If there are specific companies that you want to continue buying into or mutual funds and UITFs that you think will do better in the future, then by all means, this is a time to continue your investment. Like Bo Sanchez says, 
during these times, these investments are actually on sale. So just like any seat sale or price markdowns from your favorite stores, this is a time when investments are cheap and it's time for you to buy in. So those are the three basic things that you can do right now. Again, stop moping, stop feeling that you're unlucky and investments are just not it for you. This is a time of investment growth. Whether it's you doing nothing and just being patient, that's a value in itself. Number two, reassessing your portfolio, reassessing how much money you want to put in. And number three would be being aggressive and trying to buy the dips, selecting the companies and funds that you like, and perhaps marking some price points when you want to enter. Perhaps it's Google, perhaps it's PLDT or Globe. You just define the price points that you want to enter so that you're eventually pulling up your average. So amongst these three, which one are you going to be doing? Let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!